Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Voyager Class Rekgar from Transformers Animated TA32. Alright, I really don't know what the difference is between this and the American version, uh, the color wise anyways, but let's go ahead and take a look. Probably the paint apps are better. Here you go, uh, he does come with a trading card, the neat little Autobot symbol in the back over here. So TA32, Transformers Animated, Takara Tomy, same difference. Here we go. Megatron versus Optimus, Autobot, yada yada yada. Hyper realistic scene in the junkyard. How fitting. Not oh, cool. He has those little bits right here. All right. So you got robot mode, beast mode, little gimmicks over here, side gimmicks, light piping, the works, uh, and his little Autobot buddies. I'm not gonna name them all because I don't remember all of them. All right. Let's show ya the dude. I also want to show you my boy Bulkhead. This is the American version. Don't know what I have with the. So, yeah, he's comparable. Not as big as Bulkhead, but you can see, yeah, he's okay. So, let me roll Bulkhead out of the way and show you this dude. Rolls okay. Does have this neat little gimmick over here where the see, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, so, yeah, his little. Whatever those lever arms are for the jump truck does that. So here it is from the front uh, side. Ah, man, you know what? These animated guys are really sparsely detailed. Not that much molding and everything. So, oh no. Wheels don't lock in very well. Ah, that's okay though. And this guy is a definition of a shell former. So it's big bulky self. Not the greatest. His robot mode definitely better. And I'll show you. Here's the back. Light piping, whatever. Has this gimmick over here where this slides out. Just like that. What is that for? I have no idea. Six out of ten for that alt mood garbage truck. <laughs> Let me show you this out one more time. Yay! Anyway, so let's go ahead and transform and pop these back in. Move these little lever arms up. Whatever they're called. I don't know what the garbage truck is. Autobot symbol. That's the one thing I forget that the Autobot symbol is more prominent on these. Japanese versions. So what we're going to do, and the very definition of a shell former, pop that section right off and oh my goodness, his entire freaking body is hiding underneath there. Legs gonna go all the way down, what a surprise. Unhinge, unhinge the arms. Real simple transformation by the way. Put his long lanky head up, gonna pour his arms out like that. So we're just going like that. Same thing with the other arm. Clicks in. And arms down. Alright. So hey, it's not nearly done. Got these neat little waist pieces. Let's see. You're going to flip his feet out. Heel spur down. Same thing with the other side. Feet out. Heel spur down. Okay, what else we got? Oh yeah, his freaking entire backpack. <laughs> Look at that. Just flops around on the back. So if there ever was a shell former, he is it. So yeah, hey, what can I say? You can't win them all, right? But he does click in very well. He molds up. It kind of clicks in on the top over here. Or one thing I forgot to mention is we're gonna roll his feet or his little wheels on the front over here so the cab goes all the way down. And then there's a little notch right here, the tabs right here, so it holds that in place. Let me see if I can do that. There we go. So yeah, he has a huge backpack. Could use bigger feet so the backpack don't like fall off of him. All right, look at that, look at that. Looking good, looking good. What can I say? All right, I've been saying all right a lot, but that's all right. Voyager, Voyager class size, as far as articulation. He has this little neat little rubber piece headset over here. So he is asymmetrical in that sense. His neck don't crane, but his head would go 360. No, I think a minimal light piping, but nothing major. Arm rotates 360, goes all the way to the side over here. Nice red color too, deeper red. Single joint on there. Let me see. His four fingers just move in and out. And let me see what else we got. We got weight, waist articulation, but you wouldn't notice because this huge backpack is in the way. Thigh swivel. Wrist is on, or sorry, hips, ratchet, oh, don't ratchet out, they just swing out and move up. Single joint on the knee, and of course a little toe swivel right here. 
and a so I forgot about these waste pieces that allow you to do that his weapons just pop out like so and I'm gonna try to do this so let's see I think you can dual weld these weapons the weapons do pop yeah and there's a little connection joint over here that allows you to pop this in and notice that the wheels the back wheels over here all you have to do is just secure it in there so yeah it's got this weird looking double double shield looking thing give me a second I'll get uh, oh boy sunstorm Yeah, I completely forgot about the size comparison. There he is with Sunstorm and Generations Megatron for a height comparison. Looks like he's slightly smaller than Sunstorm right there. But he's a Voyager. Sunstorm's a pretty tall Voyager. What can I say? All right, YouTubers, eight out of 10 on the robot mode, six out of 10. Even with this humongous backpack, articulation looks good. That's all I got, YouTubers, and I'll catch y'all next time.